Hey guys, so I just got back from food shopping and a couple of people said that they wanted to see my big food shop when I mentioned it in my last video in the vlog. If you haven't watched it already, I will put a ticket up here. Um, but basically I did a day off vlog and I went shopping in it and people wanted to see what else I get on like a regular basis. So this is a big food shop. I spent £85, but I think because I'm a club card member, I got it for 82 I was going to go to Sainsbury's, but it's really late. Um, I didn't plan to be going this late in the evening, so I didn't want to go all the way into town. Um, whereas the big Tesco's is five minutes from me. Um, so it's easier to park and everything like that. Anyway... We're doing the Tesco's haul. We're gonna do a Sainsbury's one next week because it's Valentine's. That's when I'm doing all my postals is around the 9th. So I'm gonna be buying again for Valentine's next weekend. So I will do a Sainsbury shop then. But this week we're gonna see what Tesco's is like. So I got some personal stuff, I got some dog stuff and I got some bacon stuff, mostly bacon, but um, you're also gonna see kind of what stuff I eat outside of baking um because i'm vegetarian so there'll be like a lot of veggie stuff in here so yeah i hope you enjoy and i'm really tired it's currently 9 30 but um i've got a kind of photo shoot to do for all the ceramics so i'm going to do that after i film this and then they're going live tomorrow this video is going to be going up in the morning um because it's not going to be edited tonight so if you haven't already keep an eye out for that and go head over to my instagram which is perfectly imperfect by amy because the launch is tomorrow evening i'm thinking around six to eight that's when i'm thinking of launching it um i haven't set the time yet i've just said tomorrow so i'll release that in the morning um but yeah so Make sure you go and follow to keep updated and we're going to get right into this. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and we're going to start the haul now. So I'm just going to work my way through these bags because I've packed it all very nicely so I don't want to just get it out and then have to sort through it again. So I'm literally just going to pick out something and tell you what it is. So we're going to start with dog food. So I got Cleo some dog food. I got her 12 tins because I always look, I don't know if other people do this, but I'm like a bargain hunter and I always look at the um, amount per kg. So it's cheaper per kg if you buy 12 rather than six. Like if you bought two packs of six, opposed to just buying the 12, it's cheaper. So I always look at that kind of stuff. It's really good for baking ingredients as well because when there's loads of different brands and they're all very similar prices, you can work out how much it is per kg and get the cheapest one. So I got some brown sugar. This is light brown. I use this in blondies and I also use it in vegan bakes. I just prefer the light brown over, um, I think it's Demira and Muscavo. Muscovado, one of the two, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I prefer the taste of this one. Then I got some Alpro yogurts. So I got blueberry and strawberry. I haven't had these in so long. I'm very, very excited for those. Then I got some cocoa powder. This is the vegetarian one, which I was talking about in one of my vlogs. It is not vegan, so you have to get a branded one for vegan ones. So I got the Dr. Onka, which I always use for vegan bakes because it's just a good one. I don't know if there's any others that are vegan. There were quite a few brands in there, um, but I always go for Dr. Onka. So those are the two cocoa powders. I got some icing sugar. I'm mainly doing brownies at the moment. Um, I've got two cakes for Valentine's Day. And then I've got two cakes the weekend after Valentine's. So I've got four in a two week period. But for the first leading up to Valentine's, I don't have any for the first week. So I've just got a smaller bag because I'm doing some cupcakes next weekend. Um, but I don't need like a 5kg bag yet because I'll do that later in the month. They also didn't have any, so I need to, I think I'm going to order it online. Then I got some tofu. I got the smoked one just because it tastes better. And it's the just standard block and I'm going to make um, like vegan pieces with it. Obviously, I eat my eggs from my hens. Um, so if you were vegan, you'd have to find another way of doing that. Um, but yeah, I use my eggs and then I make kind of like turkey pieces where you put the flour, eggs and then the breadcrumbs. And it makes them really nice. Um, I got plain flour. I got two of these. And I love buying... If you buy own brand, it's just easy, so it will say on the sides. Because you can buy brands, but it will say on the sides that it's suitable for vegans, so it's just easier. 
um, when it comes to stuff like that to just buy vegan friendly ones for me because then it means I'm not buying separate things. The cocoa powder is slightly different because Dr. Onka is quite pricey compared to other brands. So I prefer just to buy that for my vegan bakes. But in terms of flour, it's just easier. Um, I got these smoothies. Where's the other one? So these were all 150. This one was on offer if you have a club card. So that's why I got Innocent, I don't normally. So this is Wonder Green, Apple, Pear, Cucumber and Matcha. I love matcha because when I went to America, I was drinking it like every day. And I, yeah, I really like matcha. So that's like a green juice. It's not so much a smoothie. Then this one's meant to be a smoothie. I've had this before, but in the old packaging when I was vegan, um, I used to drink them all the time. And it's strawberry and banana. So yeah, and it says on the back actually. Um, suitable for vegans if you're wondering then I got a breakfast juice which I thought was interesting I usually just get the orange but I got breakfast which is clementine orange grapefruit um, so yeah I thought that would be quite nice oh dropping stuff I'm so like hyper because I've been out um I got some stalk they didn't have the 2kg ones so I had to get these little 500 ones they didn't even have one on uh, one kg so I had to get those that's the end of bag one so I got some tortilla wraps which will be going with something else um I got a big bag of caster sugar how much is that 2kg um, I got some marshmallows because I'm doing a mock-up of a giant cake heart. Um, I got my mould a couple of days ago. I've got one order for Valentine's and then I've got all my other Valentine's stuff as well. Um, but I wanted to do a mock-up just so that people know what it looks like. If anyone wants to order it for Valentine's, they can. Even though I literally have one space left, one order space, because I'm crazy busy. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do a mock-up of that and then if I have space someone can order it or people can order it for birthdays and stuff so i got the white chocolate for that so i got four bars of 150 and it's cooking chocolate um i don't know if i said but that those go in the box the marshmallows um so this is what goes with the tortilla wraps it's greek style kebab and it is really really good like obviously people that eat kebab are probably going to say it tastes like rubbish um before they've tasted it but honestly it's really really good if you're vegetarian or vegan i definitely recommend vivira if you're not into like meat substitutes then unfortunately you're probably not going to like it um but yeah it's a really really good substitute it's really nicely seasoned as well that's what it looks like looks so good so i have that in tortilla wraps and i got some salsa as well where's my salsa i got my salsa to go in with the tortilla wrap um then i got some vivira bacon these are a little bit pricey they're three pounds per little packet um they do two meals however i usually have it as a treat i don't have it like every week but i haven't had it in like months so i thought i'd treat myself but i have this with pasta and cheese and it is amazing this bacon then i got this which is new um it's plant chef so it's only like exclusive to tesco's but it is spicy Edam noodles. So I'm hoping it's not too spicy. Um, but that's what it looks like. Doesn't look that great yet, but it's got all the sauce in the bottom. So I thought that that looked quite good. I've never had that before, as you can see, and it is vegan. Oh, I got more marshmallows. I got some dark chocolate. I think there is more of this in there, but I can't find it. So I got, I think four of those. I got some fajita seasoning um to go with the kebab um i don't actually think i need it because obviously the kebab's seasoned but i thought i'd get it anyway um i might have it if i have tofu in wraps then i can maybe season the tofu block um and this is vegan as well so i thought that was really good because the tesco's one is vegan i don't think the old el paso one is i got these protein thins warburton thins absolutely love these they're kind of wholemeal so it's like a mix between white and brown bread i got more light brown sugar so i'm doing all the brownies tomorrow as you can probably tell so i got all the toppings that i had ran out of so i got kit kats those are the normal kit kats and then i also have chunky um i got chocolate chips 
I am going to buy the, I think it's called, I don't know how to pronounce like anything, so I'm sorry, but the Cobalt, I think that's how you say it, the big bags of chocolate, like the professional ones, I need to get those, but you only get them on Amazon, I think, so I am going to order those next week, I think, but obviously I didn't have time to do it because it's a Sunday, so they don't deliver on the weekend, really. Um, I've got some rice. I think I've got more of these. I got pilau rice and I got whole grain spicy Mexican, which is really good. I normally get the, um, the branded one. I don't know what that is. I can't think of it now, but the branded version of this. Um, but I thought that I would try the Tesco's one because it was like half the price. So I got those. I got some sausage rolls, which I'm going to eat now because I'm up late. So I'm going to eat these. They are just meat free sausage rolls. So it's kind of like a meat alternative. Um, two more dark chocolates. I got some Oreos because that seems to be a popular flavour at the moment. Um, I'm doing a lot of white chocolate mix tomorrow. So I got um, Smarty Buttons. I got these just for Easter. So I'm going to do an Easter tray, which will be listed um, in a couple of days, I think. So I've got some of these just so that I can gradually stock up. And then closer to Easter, I'm not going to have to buy loads because there'll probably be none left. So I'm like gradually buying the odd pack. But I don't want to buy crazy amounts just in case I don't get too many orders. Um, I got some dentist sticks for Cleo. I got these carrot cake bars. I used to have these all the time. Um, they're raw fruit and nut and they are so good but again they are a little bit pricey considering you only get four um, I've got some vegan bits because I've got a vegan brownie tray I don't do them crazy often so I usually just buy individually because it might be like once every two weeks where when I'm doing like 20 trays a week one out of like 30 to 40 trays is not a lot so um, I just buy them individually so I've got one tomorrow um, and that's it for the time being so I just got a dark chocolate bar this is the um, free from kitchen co this is really really good I always use this for vegan bakes and I got some chocolate buttons to go in it it's a biscoff tray so I only need a little bit of chocolate button to actually go in it because it's going to be filled with biscoff um, I have a Freddo mix bar, so um, Freddo mix tray, so it's caramel, so I got those for that. I got some normal um, mini eggs, like the milk chocolate, and then I've got the white chocolate as well. I got white chocolate chunkies, which look really good. Um, I got white chocolate fingers for the white chocolate mix tray. I got some more treats for Cleo more freddos but these are the original ones not the caramel i got white chocolate buttons two avocados because i didn't have any avocado toast today and i feel deprived so i'm looking forward to having that tomorrow and i got some more rice i got golden vegetable rice two of those and then i got um, lemon and coriander I got this glitter spray. I have the gold one of this, but I got the pink just because I've got a couple of pink cakes coming up, so I thought it'd be useful. I got some clementine easy peelers because I'm trying to be better with fruit. I never eat any fruit, so I'm trying to get a bit better at that. And some more treats for Cleo. And I got these. Tesco's is the best for sprinkles and they're so cheap. So um, I got these as well. They are galaxy sprinkles, so it's like gold, bronze, silver, black. So that's a really good mix. But yes, that is, that's everything that I got. Um, I know that I talk really, really fast and that haul was actually the same time. It was 40 minutes. It took me the same amount of time as the daily vlog one, even though that was like half the size. That's how fast I was speaking. Um, so yeah, I hope that you understood all of that. And I hope that that was interesting for those of you that wanted to see what I buy. It's just interesting to see like brands um and like where you get it from what kind of things you're buying on a weekly basis um so yeah i hope it was interesting if you haven't already please like and subscribe and make sure you keep updated on the perfectly imperfect launch it's happening tomorrow which will be today when you're watching this video so go and follow my instagram and i will see you in the next video bye